Every single month, we have brand new mobile games hitting the scene. Some of them are absolute gems, while others are complete trash. What I'm here to share with you guys today are some of the best mobile games that you could look forward to playing that are releasing in July. There's even a few on today's list that are out already, very new to the scene and worth your time playing. So let's dive into today's top 10 list for July mobile games. Let's go. The first game we're featuring here today is Lost in Play. In this game, you're going to be playing as a brother-sister duo going through a bunch of adventure things and having to do puzzles along the way. This is a really cool looking game and it looks like something that would be fun both for adults and children to play. The characters here look really cool. It looks like you're kind of inside of a story tale and it's something that you could enjoy with your kids at the same time. With this being said, you're going to be embarking on a brand new, never seen before adventure style world that in my opinion looks extremely nice and it's something that has puzzles that are going to keep you entertained and really challenged along the way. If your kids are playing this game, they may need some assistance from you on some of the puzzles or maybe not. Definitely one to look forward to that's launching in July. MLB Nine Innings Rivals is up next, and this is a long ongoing series of games that has been coming out year after year, back with another year now, starting in July. If you like baseball style games with realistic looking graphics, really fun gameplay, and just the next version of what you've already been playing, this is an amazing option for you. We're kind of limited on sports games on mobile. So when something like this hits the scene, it's one that you kind of have to acknowledge, you have to give a shot to, and you have to play. If you like baseball, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't try this one. Next up, we have Roto Force, and this is a very artsy style game. It definitely has an atmospheric feel to it, while at the same time, more of an 8-bit feel to that atmospheric vibe. At the same time, we're looking at something here that's an action shooter style game with a rotating platform, something that we have not seen yet before. So this game definitely brings something different to the scene. It reminds me of one of those endless shooter style games mixed with a Super Meat Boy style game. Again, this one launches in July and you can get your hands on it really soon. Actually, it has a demo out right now that you can get yourself involved in if you want to just get a good feel for what the game is all about. But I think this one's fun. It's going to keep people entertained for a long period of time because it's kind of a mindless shoot em up and don't get hit style game all while bringing a different look to the game different vibe to the game and like i mentioned that rotating platform snow break containment zone is up next and this is a nice action rpg style game with stunning graphics i absolutely love the way this one looks the battle combat is really nice as well because although inside of an action rpg you're utilizing futuristic and more modern style weapons instead of your typical melee style weapons that you will see in this type of a game the character models are beautiful incredible looking action in this one this is one that I'm probably most excited about on today's list. Well, because I love games like Diablo, I love games like Destiny, and this kind of melts those two worlds together. If you are looking for an action game that could really take you into a completely new world, embark on a new journey, and eat up a lot of your time, man, this one is the game for you. My number one from today's list. And next up on the list, we have Black Cover M, another one releasing in July, and it's a very similar genre to the one we just spoke of. A little bit more of an anime feel and style here inside of this game, and a little bit more of an open world as well. Tons of character progression that you can do and customization of the characters that you choose inside of the game. I can see you spending endless hours progressing your characters in this one, and with turn-based strategy style combat, you could really build up your characters in a way that's going to make you be successful and push further throughout the game. We're starting to see a lot more of these titles have an open world type exploration as well as turn-based strategy style combat. Something that's very new and it seems to be doing very well on mobile. If you're into that kind of thing, this is one to check out. Has anything stood out to you so far? Are there any games that you've seen on the list here today that you're like, yeah, Echo, I'm going to go download that game. If there is, or at any point in this video, you find one, let me know in the comment section below. And while you're down there, remember to subscribe for daily videos, giving you the best mobile games and free ones on Steam. Next up is Tongue Escape. Yeah, yes, I said that, Tongue Escape. You're gonna be utilizing your tongue to make your way through the platform with different styles and different hidden passages 
around the way. Really fun, cutesy style game. Something that's going to be a little bit more of a casual players type game than the few that we just mentioned. A little bit less of a grind, a little bit more of a cutesy action style competition for you as you challenge yourself to get further and further along these maps. Essentially, you're using your tongue as a lasso or something that's going to project you from one platform to the next while you're avoiding the spikes and other type of destructive environmental features along the way super nice looking game casual look for sure but has a lot of nice color to it as well and the controls are something that you're going to want to get used to so you don't run into a bunch of lasers or spikes along the way flash party is up next and if you like super smash brothers well this is super smash brothers but on mobile and as we know Super Smash Brothers does not have a mobile client, so we welcome this because this game right here is very, very cool. You're going to want to knock your opponents off the platform while you're embarking in battle with them, utilizing 20 plus different heroes inside of the game with more to come. Definitely, if you're into Super Smash Brothers, you're going to want to play this one because it has the very same vibe and feel. Cool game that has a lot of uh, end game ability and tons of everlasting fun that you could have along the way. Omega Strikers is up next, and this is a game that reminds me very much of a Brawl Stars style game. It's an objective-based game where you use different characters along with friends to try and score goals or knock your opponents off the playing board. Really fun style game that reminds me, as I mentioned, Brawl Stars, well, it reminds me of Brawl Ball inside of Brawl Stars. A very fast-paced game right here that's very strategy-oriented. Different combat mechanics for all the characters that you choose to use. So while in the fight, you're also going to have to be focusing in on trying to score against your opponents. It's a super cool-looking game. Very casual-looking, but it could... I mean, I could see this thing going into esports at some point in time if the popularity gets it there. Different abilities, different characters, different grinds, and a lot of fun that you could have with friends with this one. All right, now I featured Undawn already on this channel, but it really is a game that's worthy of mentioning again because it is so darn new, and it did release in June, but it's so close to July that I had to bring it to you guys again. This game has the very feel and the... the overall vibe of PUBG, but it's a survival style game and it's being done in an open world in a post-apocalyptic open world. You're going to need to create, build, and make your own enclosures, structures, homes, take care of yourself, take care of everyone that's part of your family inside of this game, and you're going to have to then go against and take down the quests that are there for you inside of the game. I think this one's going to be big. I think it's going to be one of the biggest survival style games of the year. Undawn available both on mobile and on Steam as well. So just like we're seeing right here, the game can be played on your PC or on your mobile device and it's cross-platform. This is the way of the future, my friends. This is how mobile gaming is going to go. Cross-platform for the win. Undawn also for the win. Punishing Grey Raven is up next, and this one is the oldest game on the list. It's not brand new, but it's an absolutely beautiful game. It reminds me of Bayonetta on console. Really nice, big attack mechanics. Really cool-looking character models. Female characters you get to play with, as well as male characters, and just an awesome combat feature that they have inside of the game. It's another one that you can't go wrong with if you're looking for an action RPG or open world style game. So what's the next list, guys? What do you want me to talk about next in the channel, break down and give you the best of the genre? Let me know.